Um, <clears throat> I just need to go. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Good morning, party people. Phones away, you're okay now? I'm ready to go. I'm actually pretty excited today. Welcome to the breakdown, by the way. Johnny, Nath. Go on. Okay, yeah, no, I'm pretty excited today. Got a, uh, a new band to show you all. So, Lucas, the front man of this band, Avaris, I believe that's how you say it, uh, has been a bit of a fan of the channel for a while, and he turns out to be Thanks, quite... Lucas. Thanks, Lucas. Turns out he's quite a talented dude. He uh, let me hear some of their new EP that's coming out, and they've just dropped the first video off it for vultures. So I'm gonna show you them and show everyone. I have not listened to this. This is a brand new one. This is what we would call a request on the channel. It is. It's yes. in our request playlist. Uh, I'm excited to hear it. Johnny has been talking this up for a while, so. Yeah, um, that's, that's, look, that's the cool thing about doing this is we do meet some really cool people and some really talented people and it gives us a chance to help bands out that we believe in and, you know, we love yous. Three, two, one. Now, I don't want to go throwing names around too much, but who does it give you vibes of? I get As I Lay Dying vibes straight away. I get huge Architects vibes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mine may just be the visual. It could just be the like long the hair. long hair. Yeah, he's got glorious hair. Yeah, super it's glorious brilliant. hair. Uh, yeah, now you said I can hear it also just in the guitar tone, I can hear Architects, yeah. but I thought we were going on just the video, not the song. Oh, yeah. When you said, yeah, okay. Anyway, Either way, continue. He's got a great voice. A great voice. I love very diverse. Yeah, the the juxtaposition of the, the clean to the heavy vocals. I want to talk for a second about the super casual nature of this drummer who is hitting some fairly technical stuff. Dude, fair class. And just, she's just like so you know, I'm just doing my thing, you know, just playing hard shit and just love to smashing it. it. Um, yeah, just really, really cool riffs as well. I can definitely hear the architects now you mention it. Uh, yeah. very like all I got to abandon us era as well. Yes. Uh, clean vocals also give me kind of a berry tomorrow clean vocal vibe. Oh yeah, yeah, I can hear that a little mm. bit. Yeah. Which is funny because both of those bands are English and so are they. Weird. 
so much shit in their music that I really dig. Um, it really hits so many of the, the things I love about like, you know, both metal and hardcore and metalcore, um, <laughs> which are all kind of similar. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just, just things like you've got like a bleh. We love a bleh. We love a bleh. Um, yeah, good clean vocals, great screams, riffs everywhere. Yeah, it just yeah riffs there's a everywhere. lot through that. I um, think it was um, it was formulaic, but in the best way possible. It followed the formula that you want a metal song of that sort of style to follow. Yeah. In that there was the like, I hadn't heard the song, and the first breakdown, I can know it's going to yeah because yeah. it kind of builds it in the right way. So that's really well written for that. Yeah. Formulaic probably comes across as an insult. It's not how I mean it. Um, I like no, no, I, I don't think formulaic is an insult in, in like the terms of heavy music because to I, I think it's pretty hard to write a really good formulaic heavy song and have it stand out because it's so much of it's been done before. Mm -hmm. um, and when you we are comparing them to bands like um, Architects and Buried Tomorrow and all those sorts of bands, to stand out must be really, really hard because you're going up against some insanely good bands. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so, I'd agree with that. I don't think it's a bad thing necessarily. Now, the video clip. I thought what was really cool about that was it looked like it was all filmed in one room, but just by using some really cool effects, some swaying lights, good use of shadow, it actually made the film look quite dynamic, which was great in a small space. That's smaller than the living room behind us, but they managed mm. to make a full film clip that was still engaging and interesting to watch, and I thought that was really, really cool. Yeah, um, especially with not having like any sort of like counter story to go with it. For sure, um, it was just an entertaining watching them play, but the lights and the distortions and the, the little flickers and yeah. the graphics I overlays. Yeah, the light too and breaking the light. Did that hurt, dude? <laughs> but did you burn your hand? Um, no. Your hand? Your hand? Why did I turn kind of old English or something? Because oh, you're um, very old. <laughs> that is true. Um, yeah, also, being that they are from the UK, um, filming that through essentially what's been a massive lockdown was yeah, for sure. pretty impressive. So, no, well done. We really dig that, and we hope everyone else dug it as well. Yeah, comment below, let us know what you thought. Uh, definitely go check out more of the band. I know I will be. We'll see you guys in the next video.